And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zedjwani elusives. So that's right, we're going to be going back old school playing some Freljord Ionia elusives. Been a long time since we've played a deck like this. Our champions are going to be Zed and Zedjwani, both very powerful champions. So therefore we got Zedjwani putting them together. Um, I used to like playing this, this deck back in the day. Um, it, it, this deck's gotten a whole lot of different nerfs, um, but it, it looks it looks like it could be pretty decent. I like I like all of these. Um, I like the Avros and Trapper in here, just be able to uh, have really good efficient blocker. I think that's a good addition. I like that one. Um, and uh, yeah, the you know, Jewel, Jewel Protector is just one of my favorite cards. I think this is one of the most underrated cards in the game. Getting seven seven worth of stats on two bodies and being able to um, pick what you want with the other plus three plus three. I think that's that's uh, just a great combination. And of course, usually putting that on Kinku Life Blade as a four or sorry as a five five life steal elusive against the aggressive decks. So yeah this could be a, definitely could be a real fun one to play. Let's give it a try. So here we go. Zedjwani elusives. Let's kick it old school with our elusives. I have a dog somewhere rolling around. What are we playing against? Tom Kench, Soraka. Mulligan. Let's keep these. I don't play much removal. I like Green Glade Duo on two, Duo on three. Ooh. That makes this better. Yeah, Lucas are good against Tom Kench, Soraka. Basically, two cards. Like, their only hope is having, one, having Tom Kench to be removal here, and then two, having Hush. Those are the things that they want. Okay, Box to Post, that card's removal. I don't really know why they... I guess if they play the Box to Post, I just wouldn't have played anything else. Um... Everything's better with company. Says you. Every step, a new journey. Full speed ahead. So I would have had shared spoils this turn if I didn't Omen Honk. I'm not afraid. Just a wee bit late. Wow. I think we're just gonna just save both of our Choice. Green Glade duos this turn, Will next turn, do the whole Navori Conspirator thing. I guess I can't save both, can I? I can only save one. Yeah, never mind, I can't save both. The Elixir of Iron doesn't save it. Right, so maybe I should have bounced with Navori Conspirator. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Time for a leap of faith. So we'll see it. Not not keeping up Fury and Deny. Because I'm you know definitely planning on playing Shared Spoils this turn. Perfect. No hush. Ooh, that thing's pretty big. All right, that levels up Soraka. Good thing they don't have the Star Spring in play. That's a lot of healing. Gucci, hey Gucci. Live with purpose. Gucci, I do need the updated list for the Mage Seeker Lux. I remember, like we we talked about different things to do with that. Um, so after after this game, I'll uh, we can discuss what to do with that deck more. But so don't go anywhere. Do I need to keep Deny up? Or can I play Kinku Lifeblade? Stars fall. Start the round. I guess maybe I'm going to want to Fury of the North. Go Lifeblade next turn. 
Not a problem. Take heart. Live with purpose. Yeah, it's worth it. Take eight. Next turn we'll play Life Blade with Deny. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> I see feast of your future. <laughs> Appetizers of plenty. Mm. These are dangerous lands. Alright, hopefully no hush. As long as they got no hush, we'll be good. Would've been nice to draw another elusive that costs two or less mana instead of the shared spoils. But that's alright. Hopefully. No! No! They just drew Hush! You are that was their card they drew for turn. Uh, wow. Now we're not necessarily alright. And I think we'd win this matchup almost every time, but... You know, they just ended up having two box to put us a hush. Tom Kench, and my hand is also pretty slow. Oh, I don't require a menu. Darn. We're not completely dead yet, but we're basically completely dead. Oh, wait, no, because that's going to strike it, so we'll be able to heal the Nexus for five. Okay. All right, we're still okay. Yeah, good thing they didn't have the landmark. Yeah, that hush draw was perfect. You leave me no choice. Yeah, in the past it ran three. Uh, Wayfinder. Take heart. Is that the Live name of the card? Wait, wind, Windfarer? The seven, the seven mana card. It had three of them, but we're, we're playing two Sejuani and two of those. We have an extra top end card with the Sejuani, so we have four total. I could see the argument of playing the Shared Spoils. I don't think my next, my next unit's not going to be buffed up any, I don't believe. I believe that we're out of Omen Hawk and Shared Spoils buffs. Because it's like, what's what's the chance? I guess, yeah, I guess we kind of have to kill them this next turn anyway, so might as well just buff up the next thing that we draw. Windfarer Hatchling. Perfect. Great draw. Take heart. Live with purpose. GG's. Because even if they would hush one, we would have the twin disciplines plus three for the other. That got sketchy there for a second, but still pulled it out. So Harvey like grabbed the other bed from the from the wall and like brought it over to her. <laughs> and so Harvey's using she brought the bed over there, so she's laying down in one bed and using the other bed like as a pillow. Kinda holding the other one. Alright, Hatchling gone. Fear of the North gone. Omen Hawk? Darn, this would've been a really good Omen Hawk game. Hey Krabby! That's my resting face. I was planning on playing the Blade Scout on turn two here. And then turn three, I was gonna have Conspirator pick up Blade Scout. But of course, we just have Green Glade Duo. So we're going to play that instead. I really want to draw something else to do this turn. I don't really want to play any of these things this turn. That's a bad draw. I mean, it's a, it's a good card, it's a good draw, but. Oh, yes. she does all 
I don't really want to go Blade Scout into Conspirator right now, but I, I guess we do. Quietly. It's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that like next turn and get multiple buffs on the Green Glade duo. But with having all this stuff, we just gotta spend the mana this turn. Time for a leap of faith. They cannot strike. What's up, Zed? Cannot see. So getting the lifesteal thing in. I guess I could have gone Zed Navori. I am the blade in the darkness. This next turn I'm planning on going Jewel Protector, get the other lifesteal thing in. Omen Hockey would have been so great to have early in the game. And you'd be great at blocking these. Oh no. Oh no. Well, that's gonna kill some stuff. They're gonna let me block Zed with Jewel Protector? Question mark. I, have many faces. I guess so. Well, let's see what kind of spell they got to stop this. Still trades, you know, it's still trading one for one, like their spell for my four four. But then it keeps their Zed from leveling up. Cool. Take that. I, I think that was a... I don't know. I guess they were just worried about the elusives. They could have done the Mark of the Isles to, like, one of the challengers and challenged the 4-4. Then I couldn't kill the Zed, but... I guess they're worried about being at 11. Okay, so I can put them down to 2. Um, or I could play... Or I could put them down to 4 and play Omen Hawk. Which I'd rather have blocking-wise. Not a big difference between two and four on their side. Let's see. So we're definitely playing one of these. It's just which which one of these are we playing? Yeah, not really a difference between two and four. <clears throat> I can just play because I can just play the Blade Scout again the next time I'm attacking. Good. Bow to no one. All right, we'll frostbite it to make them not want to attack with it, which won't work. They will still attack with it. They grow up so fast. Just three mana. I don't know how they're going to kill. You know, I don't know how they stop that. So, like, that should just be fine. And then we do this, and we do this. You know, they have Mark of the Isles. They can take out my Sejuani. Ah, Glimpse Beyond. That's a good Glimpse Beyond. I probably should have walked here, I guess. I mean, it only saves one life, but... Glimpse Beyond, that was the card. That was a good one. Open attack. Yeah, I like open attack. With this twin disciplines. Alright, GG's. All right, so some Ash Spiders. Frozen Spiders. This will be a race. We have a very good opening hand. 
far as racing is concerned. Boom. Sejuani's one out of five. Clutch. <laughs> no, that doesn't really matter. Oh, man. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. We get turn three Zed. Do not fear the shrouded path. We get turn three Zed. A chill in the air. They'll never see us coming. My turn three Zed was going to be so cool. I'm glad they didn't block the Omen Hawk. I don't actually want to make that trade because of my conspirator, but they don't know that. Oh no! Well, that's not good. Faster than my arrow? I think not. And if they have brittle steel, I'm gonna be really sad. Please don't have brittle steel. Yay! Yay, no brittle steel. Up there in the mountains! So because of frostbite cards, I wanna split up my buffs. I don't wanna just give like the Kinku Life Blade, make that like an 8-8. Two very big ones. We're thinking of harsh winds. I know a way. Only the worthy survive. No back. Alright, what kind of frostbite do they got? It will all be over soon. They'd have to like they have to use harsh winds on these things, right? Because uh you know, like just one frostbite card for these three cards is lethal. What's your hurry? Which the good part is that means that these would be killing their things. Bar the doors. So Zed will level up. They don't have anything. I embrace the shadow. It was a good hand for us. Cool. We will take that. Another good lethal threat. Perfect. Yeah, I think Pirate Aggro is definitely a good deck for climbing. Yeah, that's a good deck. Show me a target. Uh, can't find one. Sorry. I know you want me to show you a target, but I just can't find one. All right, that should be game. So I didn't play the Avarosen Trapper because I kind of didn't really want to draw the Enrage at this part of the game. Alright, GG's. Yes, I know, Harvey. I was over, over here wanting to be pet. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a deck with a lot more removal and sweepers and things like that. So we're going to need like the buff part of our deck. Shirt Spoils is part of the buff part of our deck. But I want Omen Hawk. Omen Hawk. No Omen Hawk. Okay, I like Elixir of Iron to protect Green Glade Duo. Jewel Protector is 
part of the buff part of our deck, so Jewel Protector is good, but just a little slow. Definitely wanted Omen Hawk first and then draw Green Glade Duo and Zed after Omen Hawk. There we go. The Bastion border from here. Hang on, Fuzzball. Hey. For the homestead. I think I could play the other Green Glade duo. Now, obviously, Avalanche and Withering Whale are cards I don't <clears throat> ever want to see. Ooh, I don't know. We'll play the Zed. I know they get to block with the Avrosen Sentry, but the card's even more aggressive. I'm gonna stop playing you. Hey, stop. 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 Full speed ahead. Look out for Reavers. Oh, wow. Wow. That was impressive. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Safeguard our homes. Well, not looking so great now. Keeping Twin Disciplines available, and I don't know, I'm not really worried about the lifesteal with this matchup. They'll never see us coming. As far as putting it on Kinku Life Blade or Green Glade Duo, I think the Green Glade Duo being a 5-4 is kind of more important, because then, you know, we get to buff up the Green Glade Duo. I'd just rather have it on this thing than the Life Blade for this matchup. Alright, so that was their first card of the turn, so they didn't get any Nightfall stuff, so we just traded one for one with the two drops. The, here's with me. the big question is, is how much do I want to play around Ruination? If I just play, like, one of these smaller elusives, that's not going to bait out a Ruination. A 5-4 may bait out a Ruination. Okay, or a Vengeance. The thing is, like, they're still at 20. I don't... I don't know if I can play around Ruination if they have, like, all the stuff they've had so far and still have Ruination. Time for a leap of faith. Let's move! Okay, we'll put that on the... put this on the Life Blade. Do that next turn, though. Who would face me? Yeah, I like the elixir of iron. I, um, you know, your first in instinct is to play troll chant, but I, th I think that I like elixir in this kind of deck instead. Me. Safeguard our homes. Let's take this outside. I'd love to draw a deny. Right, we have like the two denies in here. I'd love to draw that. All right. So now if they ruination, their Trindomir dies. Still ruination here, but that would, if they ruination, they lose. 
I kill them with Zed Twin Disciplines. So I'm inviting Ruination. They The onus is on them to do something, right? Like, this is 14 damage, and they're at 14. There we go. I could give them, like, the GG, you know, but... I don't know, that could be rude. I am the blade in the darkness. Seize control. There we go. Fourteen. I am the shadow. Only the worthy survive. Four and O. Oh. Perfect. Man, they had a ton of stuff. That was a difficult one to play around, but we got there. Awesome. Same opponent that we played earlier with the Tom Kench Soraka. Um, but I think that we're pretty favored in this matchup. That's what I was saying. Awesome. Now, you're expensive. Don't need you. You're kind of difficult to turn on. Perfect. Good hand. We don't have the attack token turn three for the Zed. I would rather... I'd rather the... Like, I'd rather draw these two cards after Omen Hawk, right? After Omen Hawk buffs them up. Hang on, Please no hush. Please no hush later. I'm still good to scrap. Why Boxtopus? Why? Pledge yourself to the shadows. Bring the foot. Ooh, you wee scrap. Darn. I'd rather them kill the Zed than kill the Green Blade duo. Zed doesn't attack through a 2 4. I mean, it. Technically does, but it's not very well. <laughs> they gotta be pretty scared of pump spell, right? On my side? Maybe not. I was hoping they'd be scared. This could go wrong for me. With Tom Kench. This could go bad. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Yeah, this could go bad. Could lose this. Care to accompany me, Star Child? I will gladly guide all who seek my aid. I have everything. That's a perfect hand. That like with the the box to to kill my Green Glade duo from earlier. I play something, they capture it, and then they heal their Tom Kench back with Soraka. So I can't. Yeah, I can't pass because they would just pass. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Excuse my impertinence. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Take heart. Live with purpose. Let us peruse this establishment's mm. fair. I'd like to be able to play you. Let's move. Come on, do they have hush too? They can't have hush too. They can't have both both champions, box to post one drop, star spring, and then also hush. So what's in store for me? I need time for commune, Tom! This you know! Alright, so we're gonna. Just kind of splitting these up so we have an 8-6 and a 6-4. We'll play the 6-4 next turn. 
And the 8 6 the next turn, so they're both 8 power. Good Bayou Brunch. Really good Bayou Brunch. Call me King. Call me King. My best draw step is the one mana Odyssey. That's what I really want to draw. Both turns, I want to just draw the one mana Odyssey. I guess we can only really play one of them now, can't we? So yeah, but I want that one man elusive. Navori Blade Scout. Let me in. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Be at peace. Oh, I hear them. I know desire. Take heart. Live with purpose. Oh, they, they have to heal. Like, all they have to do is just heal something, and then the Star Spring kills me. Man. <clears throat> there we go. That'll do. Darn. 4 1. I. Feels bad losing that matchup. But they had, they had the perfect hand to kill me. Man, that Tom Kench card's pretty good. All right, we'll take a 4-1, though. Obviously, we'll take that all day, every day. Um, another awesome another awesome showing for our elusives. Um, yeah, I was actually I was pretty impressed with this. I'm just like the power of the Green Glade duo, Navori Conspirator. Um, there's not very many elusives around in the format right now, so just having these elusives uh, definitely, felt, definitely felt good. Like, that just wasn't something that a lot of people have good answers to. So close to a 5-0. We were so close. Um, but didn't didn't quite get there. Um, yeah, of course, you know, like these are the three that you want to see in your opener. Your Omen Hawk, Green Glade, Duo, Navori, Conspirator, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. I liked everything in the deck. The, the Shared Spoils, they were all right. They, they were a little awkward at times. Um, but I don't know if there's anything necessarily better than those. Because... Do you need like a little bit of card draw and it gets you the buff? I like I like the card. Um, I wonder if Fey Guide is an option these days. Maybe because Trapper didn't really seem that great. What if what if you play Fey Guide instead of Trapper, where you can curve like Zed into Fey Guide, or you know putting Fey Guide on like Jewel Protector? I don't know. I mean, I guess there's not there's not very many um, there's not very many uh, good targets for Fey Guide. You're looking at basically, you know, basically it'll only be Zed and Jewel Protector, and that'd be it. I mean, I could guess Zed want it, but you know, like that's not going to really happen. So maybe not. Maybe not. But all right. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, Will of Ionia maybe not that necessary. We didn't. We never drew it, uh, but it, it can help you against. You know, like maybe maybe you get to bounce like that Tom Kench when they're trying to eat your thing. Like maybe that that could have helped us um, bouncing a, bouncing a Tom Catch and slowing it down. That's possible. Uh, I, I like it. It's fine. It's fine. It's one of. I don't, I don't mind it. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching some Zedjuani elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.